Teary Eye influencer Meatball, who live streamed Philadelphia looting mayhem, is charged with six counts of felony. More after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AFG's Point of View, where I give you my analysis of the most popular topics in the world today. Today's video, we have a influencer, an Instagram influencer, who live streamed a looting taking place in the city of Philadelphia. Hmm. Before I dive into the details of this video, if you're new here, welcome, welcome to AFG's Point of View. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button as well. There'll be more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over. Similar to yourself. I'm my normal subscribers. Thanks for coming back. I'm diving in. A Philadelphia school social media influencer arrested while she was live streaming on Tuesday night, looting mayhem, fought back tears as she was charged with six felonies. Dalija Blackwell, better known as Meatball, Share her first hand view of the chaos in which looters targeted several businesses, including Apple, Foot Locker, and Lululemon, before being caught. In the videos posted on her Instagram stories, Blackwell can be heard laughing and sharing on the other looters as they stood by and watched the chaos unfold. At one point during her stream, Blackwell turned her face to the camera and challenged the cops to arrest her. Not smart. Tell the police that they're going to lock me up tonight. Or it's going to get lit. It's going to be a movie, she said at one point. This is what happens when we don't get justice in this city, she screamed as a joined crowd of youngsters in the streets. Blackwell video showed hordes of looters rushing into Apple stores and running away with iPhones and tablets that you can't even freaking use because they got serial numbers on. Free iPhones, free iPhones, Blackwell yelled. Mm. Wow. Police use their so. <clears throat> Get this. Police use the social media post of Blackwell and other alleged looters to determine their precise location amid the chaos. Y'all hustling backwards out there. You telling on yourself while you videotaping some shit that you shouldn't be doing in the first place. Serve your asses right. On Wednesday, Meatball was handed eight separate charges including six felonies stemming from her involvement with the looting according to court documents Blackwell was charged with burglary, criminal trespassing, conspiracy, cons criminal mischief, riot, and intent to commit a felony and criminal use of a communication facility. Police also issued the influencer two misdemeanors, receiving stolen property and hazardous conditions physically and offensively. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm gonna put little clips while I'm reading. I'm sure you're seeing some clips going across, pictures or whatever, and I can't make this shit up. I can't. I'm gonna dive right in, you know what I'm saying? If I can get that post or whatever with her doing all this extra shit, you know what I'm saying, doing that, I'll put the video in there. If not, I may not put the video in there because I don't wanna get clapped or whatever. So what I may do is put the link in the description. Just check the link in the description and see if I put it in there or not. I'm gonna do my best to find it. Trust me, I'm gonna try to do my best. They might have already taken it down. We may not have, um, you know, we might not be able to get to it. So I do my best. But I'm gonna dive in. First and foremost, number one, I'm gonna speak to all the kids out there. Every young person under the age of 35. Okay. You see this thing right here with a, with a camera on it? Stop using this shit to tell on yourself. Stop doing it. Stop. Y'all too old. To be running around here filming and live streaming 
and doing all this extra taking pictures and all that you doing the work for the fucking feds anyway you doing the work for the feds you doing the work for the police oh niggas just people out here snitching on me they doing this they doing that no you snitching on yourself why because you hustling backwards at the end of the day when i was growing up we ain't never do no stupid shit like that in our lives ever why would I take a picture of some shit that I just fucking did so I can pass it over to them to let them know when they catch you and they put you in cuffs, let me get your phone. That's the first thing they want is your phone. Why? Because they know y'all dumbass motherfuckers out here gonna take your phone and film some shit. Why are you doing it? Why? Why are we doing this? You know what I'm saying? You should have just went to the prison and said, listen, this is what you should have did. They waiting on y'all to go out there and do stupid shit. But what you should have did was just Took yourself around down to the roundhouse and said, listen, I'm planning on committing some crimes. I'm planning on looting. I'm planning on doing... So just lock me up now. Just lock me up so that I won't be doing the shit, okay? Just lock me up. Because that's basically what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? you basically telling on yourself and you're running around here and then you live streaming it on Instagram and you're doing shit on TikTok and, you know, Facebook and all these other social media sites or whatever, okay? And you don't think that the cops is not going to use that? That's a strategy they use. That's the number one strategy, how they catch people. People, we got to start using our brains. These things called phones, okay? They have Google on them. Do you realize that Google can find you any fucking where? If you got Google on your phone, they can ping your damn phone, okay? That's located wherever you at. And they say, okay, they're in this particular area. That's why the first thing that you do when you first get a phone is you put your Google things on it. You put everything for Google on here. Every cell phone has Google on there. Apple, Android, any phone you want to name. They all got Google on it. Whether it's a cheap phone or the most expensive phone. It's a communication device and they got Google on there because Google can find anything in the world. Okay? That's a monitoring site y'all thinking google's so wonderful because google's so smart and they can tell me where this is at and they can tell me where this is at and they can tell me where this is at well guess what they can tell the cops where your dumb ass is at okay if they could find this other stuff if you if you never been to a country before right that's just how i've been to dubai and i wanted to find i don't know that's just how i go you know i want to find a taj mahal or something like that or i may want to find a synagogue or whatever the case may be you know a mosque or you know what I'm saying? Or even if they have churches over there, a church. You know what I'm saying? Or even a mall or a store or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? I just type it in and type near me. And bang. I got I got search results right there. I just did a video on a woman that was cheating on her freaking husband with a dude laying on a freaking park bench. And guess how she got found? Guess how she got caught? Google Maps with the little Google world thing that you can go on there and just look on the Google and the people riding around with the cars with the cameras and all that shit they got a bunch of motherfuckers out there doing that shit what you think they doing I mean so when y'all doing around here yeah we out here turning up we got free iPhones we got this we got that number one that's the last thing I'm gonna fucking steal an iPhone so what you gonna do just take the iPhone and then call Apple up or call the, uh, the people that activate your phone and then just you know just start rocking it out with it no, they got serial numbers on these damn phones. They got serial numbers on their tablets too. They ain't worried about if you stole the shit. You stealing it, but you're not going to be able to use it. So it's, 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 it's ineffective. So like, I don't know. Maybe I'm going too deep into it. Maybe I'm thinking too far ahead. No, I'm not thinking too far ahead about this shit. Because I'm a fucking adult. And most of y'all out there, when you get the age 21 and up, you are considered an adult. So therefore, this is what needs to be used. So if you're not out there using this, you're not a functional adult. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not out here doing what adults would do. You know what I'm saying? See, it's a mindset that y'all got out here, okay? The mindset is, you broke, you ain't got nothing. You always want to turn up, I'm going to steal this, I'm going to steal that. Oh, you, we owe this, you owe us that. And then y'all going to have the nerve to say that the reason why we did this was we ain't getting justice in the city. And, you know, Eddie Irizarry, okay, you know, they killed him, so they, they didn't lock this cop up. You didn't even know this dude. Did you know Eddie? Did you know him? Please fill me in. Leave a comment below if you knew Eddie, okay? Those that know Eddie, if you turn up and you go crazy, you do some, okay, I get it. I understand you're upset and you want to get justice. And I'm not telling you what to do or how to do it, you know what I'm saying? And I would say what I would do, okay, and how I would do it, but I don't want to get clapped, you know what I'm saying? Because now it's going to be like I'm inciting a riot or something like that. And I'm not doing all that. But if you're thinking smart, you know what I'm saying, and about things that's going on, okay, 
won't you go target those places? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not telling you to go do some stuff. Don't target anything. But I'm just sitting there saying, like, it doesn't make any sense. You're going to destroy a business that has nothing to do with the entire, you know, court case. They had nothing to do with it. Apple had nothing to do with it. So now while we out here stealing liquor, okay, y'all motherfuckers are stupid. Y'all stealing some goddamn liquor? Come on, dog. This generation, I'm sorry, y'all hustling way backwards. Way backwards. So now we got 18 uh, liquor stores and all the city and all the uh, the wild wilds in the city is closed down because people done tore shit up doing this and doing that. It's just hustling backwards. Now you, now you inconvenience everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Now, do we need the liquor store? No, we don't need the liquor store. But somebody might need that Wawa. That might be their go-to to go get some food. You know what I'm saying? Some kid going out to school to go get some food. They might not have no food in the house. But that Wawa closed now because you decide you want to go out there and tear some shit up. I mean, you got to think past yourself. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all can't think past yourself. Because y'all stingy and y'all selfish and you want what you want and how you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? And it's not right. You know what I mean? Start using some, 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 some sense. Those people that's out there that got caught were supposed to get caught, okay? Because y'all hustling backwards. Every single one of y'all that got caught. And if I got a picture, I can put a picture. Everybody got caught. You know what I'm saying? Y'all played yourself. They got your whole fucking face on that shit. I don't get it. I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. This half forgot to be the donkey of the fucking year, okay? Shout out to Shout out to Charlamagne, um, the guy. You know what I'm saying? You got to be donkey of the fucking year. Come on, dog. You out there looting and you fucking filming this looting shit and then you put your face on the camera and then you fucking trying to get to the cops and talking trash to the cops? I'm done, man. I'm done. I'm so glad my city do not... I'm so glad that my kids do not frequent the city or go to any of the schools or around these fucking goofy-ass kids because I'm like this. We can't do this shit. We can't. We can't. We way smarter than this. Way smarter than this. You know what I'm saying? If you're a young person and you watching this, use this e example... Of what not to fucking do. Don't do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Just don't do it. Resist the urge to go out here to loot and do all the other goofy shit. Work hard for your shit. That way you can appreciate what you got. You know what I'm saying? There's so many people out here that just want to steal, kill, and rob. And you know what I'm saying? Take the easy way out. You lazy. You're a fucking bum. You know what I'm saying? You should be in fucking prison. You're a fucking bum. But what do I know? I'm just a dumbass fucking YouTuber and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know shit. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. At any rate, if you like what you've heard, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button as well. There will be more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over, similar to yourself. I'm my normal subscribers. Thanks for coming back. I'm my new subscribers. Welcome. Welcome to AG's POV. Do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Yep, yeah, you. Yes, you. I know you knew, but your friend over there is a visitor. So that message was for that friend over there that's a visitor. Okay? And you know all my visitors to hit the subscribe button. We have more videos like this coming on a daily basis. I got YouTube, yeah, I got some reels over Instagram. I ain't looting though. I'm doing some smart shit, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, maybe it might not get seen because I'm doing the right thing. At any rate, um, you know, we got uh, YouTube Shorts, we got Facebook, we got Instagram, we got TikTok. We got it all over here, you know what I'm saying? So, give me a favor, give me a like, give me a follow, come check me out, and, um, you know, we're going to keep it going, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate every single one of you who watched the video thus far. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Y'all be careful out there. Peace.